Yo, what is up there, guys? I'm the Wiz back again. For another video, what we're going to be focusing on today is some Rapunzel's Tangled Adventure, mainly on Cassandra and what happened to her in that room right here, right now. So let's get right to it. All right, so let's look at the facts. Of course, in the episode Rapunzel Topia, we see this door open in front of Cassandra. We even hear a little girl's voice call out Cassandra's name. Cassandra enters the room. It's all bright and white, and we don't see Cassandra till the very end of the episode, where she comes out of the room. She sees Rapunzel, and oh boy, she is not happy to see her whatsoever and of course thanks to the latest episode of Lost and Found we found out there that someone within Rapunzel's group is gonna turn on them so you know ooh, a lot of fingers pointing at Cassandra she did have that evil type of smirk at the end so you know Oy, what could have happened? What could have happened? Then again, this could be just to throw us off. So here's some ideas that I thought of. Uh, number one, this is probably the easiest one that a lot of people are thinking, is that that's simply not the real Cassandra. It is a fake version of Cassandra. Heck, it could even be somebody that is mind-controlling Cassandra. Or maybe someone took over Cassandra's body. Could be any of those possibilities. Maybe that voice that we heard ended up, I don't know, taking control of Cassandra. The only thing that makes me think that it might actually be like a fake Cassandra is that evil smirk at the end. Like, that's not normal. That's usually like when someone ends up pretending to be somebody else, they usually have a smirk like that. Like, haha, these suckers actually think I'm the real Cassandra. So I think that's a possibility over there. We have seen stuff like this happen before with mind control. And of course, with the latest uh, episode, Mirror Mirror, we did see the mirror evil versions of Cassandra. So it is a possibility. That house that they are in is ridiculously crazy. They have rooms filled with who knows what. You know, they had a top that turned them back into like little kids. So anything is really possible, but the only thing that's really making me think that it's an evil version or just a replacement of Cassandra is just the fact that she had that evil smirk. If it wasn't for the evil smirk, I wouldn't really think about it, but also her being replaced by somebody else being a fake Cassandra seems a little bit too easy for me. So I'm kind of like, eh, on that one, but let's move on to theory number two, and that is the fact that maybe Cassandra made a deal with somebody. Maybe Cassandra made a deal with the little voice that was inside the room. They could have promised her everything. Maybe they promised that they will heal her hand. Maybe they promised Cassandra everything she's ever wanted. Because let's be real, low-key Cassandra wants to be the main character. Have you heard the song, Waiting in the Wings? <laughs> so beautiful I love that song I was about to sing it right now I'm really tempted to sing that song um nonetheless we do know that even though Cassandra doesn't like to admit it she, she she wants the glory she wants the fame she wants to prove to her father that you know she's good enough to be a guard the problem with Cassandra is you know she's Rapunzel's lady in waiting so not everyone takes her you know too seriously even Adira is like <laughs> aren't you like you know basically Rapunzel's servant over here like mmm Cassandra getting slapped left and right. I think the best example of this would be when they had the little tournament thing where all these people from all different kingdoms came to prove who's the best or whatever. Uh, Cassandra really wanted to shine over there. She even goes off on Rapunzel like, listen, what, what do you know what I want? You already have everything. Let me get this. I need this to prove to everyone and myself that, you know, I'm more than what they see me as. And, you know, Cassandra's actually, she's even kind of dangerous. Like, you know, she wanted it so bad that she knew Rapunzel was entering and Rapunzel's weapon was a frying pan and what did she do she hid the frying pan and so Rapunzel was already like "Ooh, holy crap like yo you really did that knowing how dangerous this thing was gonna be luckily our girl Rapunzel has that plot armor and the skills so she did a-okay so hey maybe it could be something like that like you know that temptation because again Cassandra low-key she wants her time to shine it's always Rapunzel 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 and she's been getting pushed to the side a lot lately, buddy. Although it's funny because, you know, Cassandra being Cassandra, you, you know she doesn't really trust random people or strangers out there. So it has to be something pretty darn good for her to make a deal with somebody. So I'm going to put that one as an iffy too. Theory number three, and I think this is the big one. I think this is going to be what happens over here. Cassandra's past will be revealed. Maybe that little voice that we heard was just a younger version of Cassandra, and it's just gonna show Cassandra, you know, her past, her life so far, and the big theory over here, of course, is the number one theory that everyone has been thinking about since we first saw Cassandra, is that possibility that Mother Gothel is Cassandra's mom, and oof, I am worried about that. It is possible because we do know from the episode Eugene versus Cassandra Cassandra doesn't really remember much about her past. She doesn't know who her real parents are whatsoever. She was adopted by the captain of the Royal Guard. So, you know, 
you know how it comes to Disney and their backstories, you don't have a backstory? Don't worry, we're gonna give you one, but it's gonna be dark and depressing as hell, and that's what I'm really worried about. Like, imagine if Gothel is uh, Cassandra's mom. Imagine, like, all the thought process you would have. Oh my god, my mom is the one that kept you captive all these years. There's no way you're gonna look at me as a friend, like, ever again. There's gonna be that wall over there, or maybe it could even be, like, that thought process, too, where it's like, wait a minute, again, it's always about Rapunzel. My mom just threw me out to the side because she cared more about you, Rapunzel, and like, oh god, see, this can go a lot of different ways. It, it's all gonna depend on how Cassandra reacts to that reveal. I kind of don't want that reveal to happen because it's just gonna be... Oh god, that's gonna be brutal. But at the same time, I see a lot of resemblance between Cassandra and Mother Gothel. Like, like uh, Mother Gothel, she basically tolerates Rapunzel. Same thing for Cassandra. She basically just tolerates her. And, oh god, it would be really, really bad. And if it's not Gothel, maybe it could just be, you know, a reflection of her life. Maybe her parents did... Maybe Rapunzel's parents could have done something to Cassandra's real parents. You know, it doesn't have to be Gothel, but Gothel's, like, you know, the easiest one to pick. It could be something completely different, but something must have happened to her. The truth, her past, that makes her just like, you know what, I'm kind of done with this. I'm done. I've helped you out long enough. Uh, she's even said to Rapunzel's face before, like, listen, I left everything I had to help you on your journey. And I don't know. It's just, I'm very, <laughs> really worried. I'm just saying, Cassandra's the one that we don't have the backstory for. Boy, I just really hope that Cassandra doesn't turn into a variant because that kid is insane. Varian was out of control over here. Everyone wants him to come back. Meanwhile, I'm like, keep that kid in lockdown. Like, dude's out of control. I would only be upset if, you know, Cassandra is the ultimate betrayer of the group because we've had so much character development between Cassandra and Rapunzel, episodes dedicated to their friendship. For it to just turn like that, mm, you know, it's got to be something really, really good. But again, hey, Cassandra might not be the betrayer in the group. It could be somebody else. I do plan on making a video on all the possibilities on who it could be. Again, they're making it ridiculously obvious that it is Cassandra, but it ultimately might not be her. However, I just want to talk about what could have happened inside that room that might make her possibly be the traitor within the group. So guys, I want to know in the comment section below, you know, hey, what are your ideas? What are your theories? What do you think happened to Cassandra in that room? And also, yo, what about your boy Owl? Is that the real Owl? If it is the real Owl, like if nothing happened to him, then holy crap, Owl knows everything that went down. But if it was a fake Cassandra, an Owl was still normal Owl, I'm pretty sure Owl would be like, yo, this chick ain't the real chick. Like, come on. So I don't know, you know, guys, again, leave your thoughts, leave your theories, leave your comments. If you like this video, make sure to give it a big, big, big thumbs up as that really helps me out. If you're not already, you can follow me on Twitter. Same thing as my YouTube channel, which is Ed the Wiz. I'm also on Instagram, which is Matt Swag 1345, where I post all the good stuff. So until next time, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and say bye, pal. We'll see you soon. <laughs> I will only keep on waiting <laughs> till Sunday <laughs> season finale.